Elon Musk's boring company wants to solve soul-crushing gridlock with a network of tunnels that take people and cars up to 150 miles an hour under our very feet. They've already dug a one-mile test tunnel near the Tesla headquarters in Hawthorne, California, and they held a big press event last November, taking a bunch of people through it. So, will we all be commuting to work in tunnels anytime soon like some sort of crazy futuristic mole people? Well, maybe not, but the boring company already has several projects in the planning stages which they hope to complete in the next two to three years. So let's go through them. Elon Musk, famous for rockets and electric cars, created the aptly named Boring Company to dig tunnels that will take people and cars quickly to where they want to go. The first project was a proof of concept, dug right outside Elon's Tesla headquarters in Hawthorne, California. Once formed, the tunnel was fitted out so a modified Tesla Model X could travel through it. In future tunnels, cars will be able to travel up to 150 miles an hour. However, this tunnel isn't quite up to that yet. The ride is so bumpy that they haven't taken people over 30 miles an hour. The Boring Company is working with the city of Los Angeles to build Dugout Loop, a 3.6 mile privately financed single tunnel from one of three still to be determined transit stops to Dodger Stadium. This tunnel will transport pedestrians in what are being called electric skates. These are modified Tesla Model X platforms designed to take up to 16 people. A loop lift will be constructed at each end to allow the skates to move from road level to the tunnel. These will either be an elevator or a ramp. Finally, there will be up to six ventilation shafts along the way, and these could also be potentially used for evacuation in case of emergency. The goal is to transport 5% of those going to the stadium, that's 2,800 people. With only one tunnel and an estimated four minute trip time, skates can only go one way, meaning more than 175 skates will have to be kept on hand at each end before or after the event. It's just not possible to move skates back along the single tunnel during high volume traffic, unless you want the four minute transportation time to increase to eight minutes or more. The Boring Company stated tickets will cost around $1 to ride. So with 2,800 people taking two trips, that would make them $5,600 every game. With 81 home games, that's just $450,000 per year. Although of course, there could be other special events at the stadium. With Elon Musk estimating tunneling costs at $10 million a mile for the Hawthorne Tunnel, plus the cost for skates, plus upkeep and maintenance, it would take decades until this project will pay for itself. But I see Elon using this as a loss leader to get people excited about tunneling and allowing his team to learn more about running real world projects. The proposal was sent to the city of Los Angeles in the summer of 2018, and a public scoping meeting was held on August 18th, with comments due by September 17th. Right now, we're waiting for the results of this review. The Boring Company entered into a competition to build a high-speed link from Chicago O'Hare Airport to downtown Chicago. In March 2018, they were one of two bids selected and by June were selected as the preferred candidate. This project will use two tunnels for two-way travel and would be 17 miles long. Again, it will use electric skates to transport pedestrians. However, there's nothing in the proposal to say that cars couldn't also use this tunnel. The ride would take 12 minutes and skates would leave the station as often as every 30 seconds. Like the dugout loop in LA, this will be entirely privately financed. Boring Company's estimated cost is around $1 billion. The Boring Company have stated the fare will be more than the existing train line, which is currently $5, but less than ride-sharing taxi services, and Elon has mentioned prices of $20 to $25 a ride. If the Boring Company charges $25 for their service, they would need 40 million passengers before they break even on the construction costs. And this isn't even taking into account running costs or maintenance. Plus, at the moment, the city of Chicago is negotiating to take a percentage of ticket sales. In December 2018, Chicago Infrastructure Trust said they were midway through an environmental assessment. 
Elon has stated he wants to start drilling three to four months after they get regulatory and environmental approval, and he expects the project will be completed within three years, and more likely two. However, there's pressure to push through the deal before Mayor Rahm Emanuel's term ends in May 2019, and there's political infighting on whether it should proceed at all. However, progress has been made. The Boring Company tweeted a picture in July 2018, which is thought to be a gantry section they're testing out. The Boring Company's most audacious project is linking the downtown regions of Baltimore and Washington DC, which are over 35 miles apart. Again, there will be two tunnels, and both pedestrians and cars will share the tunnel. It's expected that there will be several stations along the way, but the travel time from Baltimore to Washington DC will take approximately 15 minutes. You can expect to make that journey in rush hour by car in 90 minutes, and by train in 30 to 45 minutes. Fares aren't finalized, of course, but the Boring Company says the fares will be comparable or lower than public transportation fares. Train tickets today are between $19 and $45. The project is estimated to take 12 to 20 months to complete, and as Elon has stated, he hopes to be able to dig a mile a week. That's 35 weeks of digging, presuming everything goes according to plan. By March 2018, the state of Maryland had granted permission to dig 10 miles of the route, with the Boring Company waiting on the Federal Highway Administration and the Federal Railroad Administration to give their permission. There was a fourth project, which was a wider tunnel system in Los Angeles, but this has been shot down. The city of Los Angeles had given the go-ahead for another exploratory tunnel project and gave the Boring Company a pass on the environmental study, but local residents objected and the resulting lawsuit was settled out of court with Elon saying that they wouldn't go ahead with the project as they will learn everything they need to know with a dugout loop. Reading between the lines, I'm thinking Elon is hoping the dugout loop and the Hawthorne Tunnel will serve as poster children for his tunneling solution in Los Angeles, and soon public and political will will move towards the larger LA project. Finally, how would you like to access a tunnel from your garage at home or parking garage at work? That may not be happening right away, but the Boring Company has bought a house near the Hawthorne Tunnel and are going to tunnel directly underneath it to install a loop lift directly underneath the garage. This is a proof of concept to show that they can install a lift into a very tight spot without disturbing those close by, and they even intend to have a family renting the house during construction. This is going to be interesting. Elon Musk and a few key SpaceX and Tesla employees have kicked in some seed funding to see if they can revolutionize transport. Most companies with visions like this will be dismissed as dreamers who won't be able to deliver, but Elon's companies have time and time again shown that they can deliver on crazy ideas. So when Elon says he can tunnel under the city and solve gridlock, maybe he can. The boring company must create a new market dealing with large public authorities and many regulatory agencies. That's a tough challenge, but something he succeeded in before. He's selling large battery installations to large power utilities, he's sold to NASA, and gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with established players like Boeing. But this is one crazy dream, and the proof is in the pudding. We'll see in the next couple of years if his one-mile tunnel becomes a white elephant we look at as a dead end, or the start of something amazing.